All right, guys, and it was a massive uh, movement on the CPI today. Well, it was midnight 30 for me. I was sleeping. I knew what it would happen. I've done my analysis. I've placed my trades. So this is the beauty of trading swing trade. You don't have to be on the charts 24 seven. Uh, you can just relax and live your actual life. Um, and this is very important when it comes down to trading, you know, you can't only be on the screens, like 24 seven on the screens, you know, seven days a week on the screens. You need a little bit of time to actual, you know, turn it off your mind and be present at the moment with your family, with your friends, if you have girlfriend, if you have boyfriend, uh, <clears throat> you need to be present to those moments and not forget about it, but leave it to the side a little bit, okay? Leave it to the side a little bit. Give, your time, give yourself a time to rest as well. Use the weekends as preparation for the week, but use it as well as a resting um, method. All right, this is how I do. I do cold plunges, I do uh, meditation, I do all of those things that actually help me um, on discipline. So always remember discipline is a very big um, take on trading, okay? Um, but okay, let's go, let's go through the numbers here. And first, before we start the CPI numbers, I just wanna um, tell them, tell all of you that I was right again on Euro dollar. Okay, I know it can sound a little bit arrogant, but uh, all of the people, when you're wrong, they come and say, oh, you were wrong, you were death, you don't know what you're doing. But when you're right, no one comes and say, oh, congratulations. So I was right. I was right. I was looking to the 107 first quarter of on euro dollar and continuation to the downtrend on gold. And as you can see on the charts, this is what is happening. All right, we have at this moment, right now it's uh, 10 o'clock um, in the morning at Sydney. We have 107.8, uh, 107.08 on euro dollar, and we have uh, $1,992 per ounce on gold. And my target that I've mentioned, it was 1,990. So $2 away, okay, $2 away. So this is, if this is not good, then I can't help you anymore because I've been predicting those moves since last year, all right? It's and, and, and it comes to my webinar every Tuesday. I do mention what will happen. Um, I got stopped out on Euro Dollar, uh, sorry, um, Euro Aussie because uh, yesterday, if you were on the webinar, you, you will remember why. Anyways. So let's go through the numbers here. CPI month over month. Previous was revised down to 0.2%. The consensus was 0.2% and the actual came in at 0.3%. So 0.1 higher than expected. And this, of course, it's month over month January. So from the, la from the month of January last, last month, you know, 2024, we did have a 0.1% increase on inflation, all right? Uh, now, the core CPI month over month on January as well, the consensus was 0.3% and it came 0.4%, so 0.4, okay? Every time I mention 0.4, it means 0.4. Uh, CPI year over year January came much higher than expected, much, much higher, being 0.2% higher than what they were expecting. So the consensus was at 2.9% and the actual came in at 3.1%. And the core CPI year over year January came as well 0.2% higher than expected. Uh, the consensus was at 3.7% and the actual is at 3.9%. So there we have all the numbers. Um, this, of course, did have a huge impact on the US dollar. And I've mentioned if it comes higher, that would be very, very good for US dollar. Uh, investors would be looking to long the US dollar index. And even on the US dollar index, if we look at this moment, it's trading at uh, 104,860, let's say. Um, so it just broke the 104 as well as the one of, uh, nearly touch it on the 105. So that was my range for this week, and I was right again, 104 to 105. So just, just, you know, just so you guys know, I, I don't have any crystal ball, I'm just using macroeconomics to you know predict currency moves that this is all it was you know it's just simple simple stuff 
Um, now, my final considerations about the CPI and all of those higher numbers is that it will fulfill a bit of uh, strength on the US dollar as it is fulfilling right now. Uh, most likely, we won't have any huge impact um, on the US dollar index to the current the week because we only have Thursday and Friday now. Uh, most probably next week, we will have some retracements um, as it always does. And the only main thing that I'm looking at right now is the Fed. What will FOMC state it in the next uh, month, in March? What will they state it? Okay, this is my big take right now. And I will go dig deeper to see um, how I can bring more content to you guys about this. Uh, but for today, this is all. Uh, thanks for those who have been on my webinar yesterday. Just reminding that tomorrow we're going to have another one on Thursday, um, six to seven, oh, sorry, 8 to 9 p.m., so a little bit uh, late in the evening. Um, and if you have any questions, please note it down and ask me on the, set, on the webinar or either put, just put it down on the comments, okay? Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to your channel, and I see you in the next video. Thanks, you guys.